It's another delicious day here in the Let's Make Food From Food Kitchen and we're gonna make some cream cheese frosting because why not? Well, because I'm gonna frost something really. But that's the next video, so you'll have to watch and see what it's gonna be. Okay. So I already have in my bowl here cream cheese and this is the block cream cheese. Don't get the whipped because it won't work. There's additives in that. And then some unsalted butter. That is a half a cup also known as one stick okay so what I want to do is add my vanilla extract not imitation if you want to know why go watch my vanilla extract video I'll put a link down below and some salt this is sea salt if you use salted butter cut back on the salt by half okay now I want to put this on my mixer lock it down and I just want to get this combined so that it's smooth and there's no lumps. Doesn't take long. I am going to scrape down my sides a little bit. And then I'm going to start adding in my powdered sugar just a little bit at a time. Now this doesn't take long to do. It's pretty quick and easy with just a few ingredients. So just some of it, not even half. I'm going to say maybe a cup at a time is probably good. Watch out for the puff this time. There we go. So I'm going to let that go for a minute. Just until I see all the powdered sugar is mixed in. Okay. Same thing. I'm just going to add a little bit more. Look at how delicious that looks already. Mm -mm 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 -mm, yummy. Okay. You see the little puffs coming out? Confectioner sugar. Okay, I'm gonna turn it up just for a second. Okay, so I'm gonna take this off and tap it down, get everything off of there. All right, now I'm gonna take my bowl off. Now, as you can see, there's still a little on the sides. What I wanna do is take my spatula and scrape down all the sides, and I'm checking the bottom. You see that right there? We want to mix that in. So I'm scraping it all the way around, including the bottom, and making sure that any of that dry gets mixed in. And I'm just keeping an eye out for any lumps that might be in there. It could be a lump of powdered sugar that needs to get dissolved, or it could be cream cheese. Probably not, but I don't think I mentioned this before I started. The cream cheese and the butter are at room temperature, and that is what lets it get so smooth and creamy so quickly, because this is what we have. So that's it. You're gonna frost your cake or your cupcakes, however you wanna do it. Keep it in the fridge when you're all done. Check out the next video to see what I'm putting this on. Thanks for joining me here today in the Let's Make Food From Food Kitchen. From my kitchen to yours, let's make food from food. That's one boy.